Hey, good morning, good afternoon. This is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. Uh, today's question is, uh, how do I show all my campaigns in the past issue archive link instead of just the last 20? So this is, I found this uh, question because my my clients were asking kind of same question. So I'll show you um, what this means. So my client has this website uh, they have news and update. So right here says to read post club action news. So they made this action news with MailChimp. So when you click it, uh, takes you to MailChimp uh, campaign archive. So as you see, they have only 20, the last 20. So they want to show more than 20 items, right? So I'm shooting this video because I think um, some of you may want to do the same thing if you're using this approach. So here is the solution I'm proposing. So you can add three buttons instead of just one. If you click it, it takes you to uh, open up with the new tab. And so it's a, here's all the campaigns on newsletters and it is actually on the WordPress website and it's showing more than 20. So it's showing everything here. And then uh, same as here, last year, 2021 newsletter. So it's showing everything from January to uh, the end of uh, December. Let me show you how I did it. This is really easy. So first you have to log into your MailChimp account and go to campaigns, uh, all campaigns, and uh, here it is. Now, um, yeah, you can create a folder, keep your campaign organized. For example, so we got the, the press release. Uh, back in 2015 here, let's just, just click that. So you see this uh, get archive code. So just click that. And here, so create a campaign archive on your website, choose the folder and copy and paste archive generator code into your page. So for example, so I'm gonna just, uh, yeah, I'm gonna just use this uh, pick uh, release 2015, for example. And here, so let's stretch this out. And so here is a code uh, you can generate. So you can just copy and paste onto your website, your WordPress website. So uh, let me show that to you next. So let's start with dashboard. So I'm going to add a new page. And then uh, title should be uh, 2020 Club Action Newsletter. So. Uh, my client sent me a code here. So she organized, uh, or she created three different folders, uh, 2020 Club Action Newsletter, an annual general meeting, and then 2021 Club Action Newsletter. So those three folders. And she generated the archive code, uh, which that explained earlier. So, um, and I'm gonna just copy this code here and then go to this page. And then, so uh, I'm using a classic editor here. So um, this can be done with Elementor and block editor. So I'm just using classic editor and then change that to text from visual to text tab. And I can just copy and paste that code. So uh, let's take a look. Uh, I'm gonna just take a hit the preview here. So see, you see, uh, looks like those are 10 entries. All right, so uh, let's see, uh, let's go in. So I wanna change that, uh, the font, it looks pretty small. And let's take a look. So you can change the line height and the margin. Uh, and this is just a CSS code. Uh, for example, you know, 12 is not really good. Maybe increase that to 18 and then hit the preview here. Yeah, so that looks okay. And then if you want to show more than 10 right here, you see show equals 10. So I can probably increase to, let's say uh, 15 and then hit the preview. And it's showing 15. And I don't know if they have more than 15 here. So let's maybe 30, for example, preview. Oh yeah, so looks look at that. So you can change that. Um, you can customize line height here, margin, 
uh, font size. Uh, looks like you can change those um, uh, font family too. And then most importantly, so you want to change that to this number, show equals uh, whichever number you want to. Okay. So I'm going to work on that because he sent me uh, two other folders too. So I'm going to just uh, work on that and go here. So I'm going to just go ahead, hit publish. Oh, before that, I'm going to just do that. Uh, uh, Club Auction News. Yeah, so news and updates. So I'm going to just uh, pick that and go ahead, hit publish. All right, so I'm going to just uh, use uh, another two. And uh, here, copy that. Okay, so it looks like they have uh, quite a bit uh, uh, newsletters uh, for 2021. So I'm going to increase that to 100 uh, just to be safe. And then go hit update. So now I have 2021 club action newsletter and then the annual general meeting advisory and the 2022 uh, club action newsletter here. So and so I got the three pages done. Uh, I'm going to just, uh, yeah, okay, so hit update. Now let's go to uh, this news and update page. And I'm going to just uh, create uh, just three buttons here uh, for those three archives. So I'm going to just uh, you go to uh, edit with Elementor. And just uh, bring uh, in a section here. And then add another column. So three columns. And I'm just going to just use this so i'm gonna just change the name to um maybe uh, so first of all uh so maybe new one is fast so club 2020 newsletter and i'm just gonna put that text here like that and then don't forget uh, link And then copy that link. All right, so I'm going to just uh, duplicate this and move that and change that to 21. And I think the link name is going to be just change that to 21 right here. It's OK. And, uh, and then another one, duplicate. And the next one is I know general meeting and copy this. And then text, and then a link right here, then right here, link like that. So I'm gonna just uh, hit go, hit update. Yeah, I like to open this link uh, with the new tab actually. So uh, just uh, go to link option and open new window, and then right here, same thing. And hit update. And then uh, page. So now when you click that, it's open new window. Okay, so that's better. Okay, so I like this approach. So you're still using MailChimp platform and you're kind of integrating with your website. And then uh, for the user, so this is easier to navigate uh, and because you're organizing different folder for your campaign and then posting that information on your website. So this is a great way of using your website. So I hope this helps and then see you next time.